Vesta here in Minnesota with the Fireplace Ministry. And uh, we have a special guest and intercessor here in the fireplace, Sister Erina. And she has a word for you. Erina, you are welcome to the fireplace. Thank you, Pastor Sylvester. I am so blessed to be here this time and at this moment and in this season. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and let me hope you're all well. It's an honor to be here today, to be honest with you. And I just felt in my spirit that we all need to be encouraged during this season. It is not a very good season and it's not very easy for anybody. It's, I mean, it has affected the whole world. The whole globe is mourning, you all know. Everybody is talking. Supplies have run out. Uh, last week I was in Aldi's. I wanted to go and stock up some stuff. And most of the aisles were empty. And I was like, God, what is going on? It's so sad that some people have also, I mean, already lost their lives. But we thank God that you are still alive. But I just want to encourage us all and encourage you, my brothers and sisters, that the Lord is not going to give up on you. Amen. Science has failed us. Technology has failed us. Even the top, most like the cream of the whole world, they failed to get the answer to this virus. But I know God is watching and he has a plan. He's not giving up on you. He won't give up on your children. He won't give up on your spouse. He won't give up on your friends. And he won't give up on your family. I just want you all to be strong during this season. Because the Lord says, never will I leave you nor forsake you. Amen. He cannot forsake you at this point. Everyone is so afraid. You know, like the virus came to keep us indoors, like closed up and, you know, without doing anything, like interfering with every aspect of life. But God is saying it's coming to an end. Amen. Don't ask me how, but keep your faith burning like a torch. Amen. I just want you to be strong. Because it says in Psalms 121, 121, He who watches over Israel will not sleep nor slumber. Amen. Be encouraged that you will not even doze off. Amen. His eyes are so alert and he's watching you. He's watching me. Amen. And he loves you. So I just encourage you to, I mean, to shine the, the same kind of love to everybody out there today. Don't be discouraged. And don't think the world is coming to an end because it's not. This is just the beginning. Okay, so um, I'm going to leave you in a short word of prayer just to encourage you and keep your spirit strong. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I just want to thank you so much for this day. I thank you so much for our brothers and sisters who are watching, Lord. I just pray that during this time when their spirits are so broken, when they are so worried, when they are out of words and uh, solutions, that they can stand strong and believe that you are the healer and believe that you are the solution and believe that you've not given up on us, Lord God. You will not give Satan a chance to put us down, Lord God. We thank you that you're going to give us life. We thank you that we and our loved ones are going to be protected through this turmoil, Lord. We give you all the glory. We bless your name. And we thank you because you hear us, Lord, even before we pray. I plead your blood over everyone who is watching right now. Yes, Lord. Their families and loved ones. Yes, Lord. Us who work in healthcare, Lord, I know most people work in healthcare. I pray yes. that you protect them and I pray you take away fear yes. and anxiety during this season. Yes. In Jesus' Lord. name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Sister Erina. You're welcome. Anytime. We want you to know that God will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He never gave us a spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. God bless you.